So there we go, end of the weekend at Poe. It's over and done with. TCR Europe, round three and round four are complete and they've been crackers. Thoroughly enjoy them, both races, a little bit of drama uh, here and there, a few bits of contact, some good overtakes, some good racing and a joyous time has been had by all. And now it's the end of day walk around the paddock. So I'm gonna have a little walk around the paddock. Uh, one man I wanna to talk to is Isaac Smith because uh, for reasons we'll not go into, it was a little bit difficult for me to see uh, in the commentary box and I wrongly called it as Lewis Brown. Uh, it wasn't, it was Isaac. They had a bit of T1 contact. So let's go and find him. In fact, I see Lewis actually. So uh, let's go have a word with Lewis and see what he made of his race. And there is, in fact, Isaac's there as well, which is even better. So uh, let's go and have a word. Isaac Smith, my friend. I wrongly said that was Lewis for reasons we'll not go into in the commentary box, but sadly I hear it was you. Talk to me, what happened, man? I mean, we had a really good launch. We drove round the outside of one of the come to you Audis and we kind of just got crowded into the wall and he just continuously drove into me until I had, I was on the wall trying to stay off him and yeah. Real shame. Real shame to end the weekend like that one, but must be confidence inspiring regardless that you've had a lot of pace, you've shown your mettle in this championship, you've not been, you've not backed down from a challenge. So how does it feel to turn it into a positive going in to Spa Francorchamps? Well, I mean, if we can make it there is the main thing really. I don't really know at the minute. Wasn't expecting this. So we had some serious pace. I mean, the previous race we went the wrong way with setup, as I said to you before, but if we manage to make it there, I think we'll definitely be heavy hitting because we need to score some points for the championship. Also, well, bad luck, Lewis, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you next time out, and I'll catch you later. See you later. So that was, ooh, wow. Yeah. That's a... That's, that's not light damage. Yeah. Poe, everybody. So, moving on, let's find somebody else that we can find. And everybody's getting, <laughs> that is the, come to you, uh, sorry, that's the Kumo Tires crew packing up, ready to say goodbye. And I think everybody's doing the same thing. We finish quite hear, early today in uh, our final race at TCI Europe. So that's an opportunity for all the hardworking teams and drivers to get their selves done and dusted and off on the way home. And who could blame them? I would do the same if my flight wasn't another 24 hours away. Yeah, but it's been a great weekend. It's a difficult street track. Our drivers have all done themselves proud and hopefully everybody at home has thoroughly enjoyed what it is to enjoy that is the Poe track. So uh, where are we now? We're around the side of Target competition, so maybe we can have a word with Dusan Borkovic. He had a great drive, fantastic performance from Dusan once again, a win in race one, second in race two, nibbling on the heels of Tom Coronel, but just not quite enough time, not quite enough gap to be able to close that down and close out the first double winner of the season. And here is said, come to you team. Cars are in part firm, eh? Of course, because we need to do the scrutineering and technical checks and everything that comes with it to make sure everybody's above board. But look here, a Tom Coronel car on display, two winners' trophies. The winner for the first driver and the winner for the diamond driver as well. So uh, nice stuff. For Tom Coronel and a very nice victory. The tactic of a reverse grid pole position worked an absolute treat. So uh, it's almost like Tom Coronel's been here and done this kind of thing before, isn't it? Bom, 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 bom. So great result for Tom, great result for Come to You, and another very strong weekend for Kobe Powell's as well, who's once again solidifying and cementing his reputation as a driver that very firmly is a future star of touring car racing. And unfortunately, pretty much everyone's gone home. So I reckon our end of weekend broadcast video, time to say goodbye. So thank you all for being with us this weekend. Remember, we're back again alongside 
the TCR World Tour. So until next time, signing out from Poe, that's loud. I've been Paul Jeffrey. you've all been an awesome crowd, and we'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.